Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we in the last episode did a, a mission down here and up here, and now we've got something going on over here in the restaurant. I don't know about you guys, but this game has like some really sound effects, like that little like thing where it just seems to come out of nowhere. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this though, because I think that's gonna be the best way to stop that super loud noise. But we'll see. Okay. Okay, so it seems like the aliens got on the ship without us even knowing. And they're just in the ballroom. They just ran into the ballroom. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we get to control Felicia Hicks and Prince. Okay, so what do I have? Cosmetic bag? Healing? Um... We want to kill that thing. I've got the hummingbird as well. It does 20 damage. I mean, I could attack. I've forgotten. How does attacking work? You you can move first. So if I move there, can I then shoot him? I say run there. And then... Shoot. I think that should work. Um, what about this dude? He's like a cutlass, really. So can I run over to there and then attack him from there? I think I want to run. Yeah, I'm confused how the attacks work. I think we must have to attack first and then run. Yeah. That's look like looks like how it has to go. Oh jeez. Well it's dead. It looks like to me. Yeah, it's totally dead. More monsters, okay. Alright, I think I'm starting to get the idea. Do we gotta run and protect civilians? Kill the monsters, but one must remain conscious. Well, I don't want to run too far ahead then. Fear inducer. Huh. Yeah, I'm not really sure how that works. I think we want to move there, though. And I don't think he can do much else. Alicia, let's get you maybe... Move to there, and I also would like you... Nah, you can't shoot anyone? Okay. I'm gonna get you guys both behind cover. You can let... The brave soldiers... Try and fight them off. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna go too well for you by the looks of it. Can I? I'm still too far away. Maybe I should've... Maybe I should've tried to... Charge in further. Sorry, guys. Learning the mechanics here. Um, just charge in. And same with you. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna kill. Well, it looks like the guards are actually doing a pretty decent job. Oh, there's more of them. Did you see that down there? There was like another dude that ran over there. Fear inducer? No. I need to read that actually more. It just freezes them in place. So I could... Oh, I see. So I freeze you and then I run up in the next move kind of thing. Um, I kind of think I should just stay back. This poor guard's gonna get fried. 
but I think oh, they're just outside of my my targeting range. Well, didn't we see? Yeah, Prince, wasn't there like some dude that was like running over here or something? I'd like you to run over there. Miss Hicks, I think they're gonna run towards us, but they might run over here. I think we could heal someone as well. YOLO, we're gonna run you out of cover. I don't think these guys have ranged attacks. So, yeah. I think that's all I can do though. Yeah, it seems like their smart pistols have higher range than my hummingbird. Oh no, red shirt. Get out of there. Yeah. Um, ba ba ba. Can you shoot him? No, you can't. That is really annoying. Can I... Uh, fear induce him? Yeah, I can fear induce him. I don't think he'll be able to attack though, is the thing. Right? He won't be able to attack me. Okay, so let's do that. And then Felicia picks... I'm actually gonna run you over here as well. To provide, like, support. And you won't be able to shoot him, unfortunately, but I think that that's fine. Oop. I'm interested to see if this dude ends up getting another attack off or not. Oh, there's three more of them coming in, so it's probably a good thing that we're being aggressive in this situation. Uh, can you cut last him? Yes, you can. Can I also shoot him? No, I can't. I could shoot you, though. Probably do that. You know, I don't know if this is the best place for Felicia to be hiding. I mean, like I said, they are rain they are melee characters, so I think that we're okay. Okay, so you could shoot, and you're actually already attacking. And then I might want to run you back here. I think that that's probably a good move. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, well that one died. I don't know if that was the one that I was attacking or not. Yeah, these guests are, are getting wrecked a little bit. I'm not doing a very good job, I don't think. Um, let's see, Felicia, you can shoot him. And then you, we could maybe Fear induce and run up next to it again. And then I might try running around that way, because I think that we can get there and then... No, that might not work. If I look... Uh, where is... Her in the attack order? Compared to my guy. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really seeing it. Like, I can see Prince, but, uh, I'm not seeing our, our lady, um, on there. You could fear induce it and run up, and then I'm actually going to change your order, I think. Uh, you could run up and heal someone. We could run over to that guard and try healing you. That's, that's not going to really happen, though. Oh, you know what we could do is we could go grab that gun. I think their smart pistols might be better than what we've got. Um, and the hummingbird's just not got the range that I'm, I'm hoping to have right now, unfortunately. And I'm not really sure with how the attack order is going to go. Uh, run over here. Let's see what we can get. Let's see what's... So can I run there? And then pick it up. Okay, run there next turn and we'll pick it up next turn, I guess. 
I think that's how it works. Yeah, I think that we have to do that. Oh man. Gun got like a two for one hit there. Well, this is kind of interesting because we're seeing a number of items getting used right now. Oh wow, both those people got away there. That's actually, I'm actually very surprised by that. Smart pistol. It's the exact same as the hummingbird. Bypassing cover and obstacles. Um, I mean, if it bypasses uh, obstacles, that, that does actually sound pretty useful. Oh, what? The bullet's curve. Do you see that? <laughs> That's actually super cool. So I can do like that and then run over. I'm not going to run towards them. I'm going to run like over here, I think. I like that. That's actually a super cool item. Cut him and then run out here. Yeah. I didn't realize that all the bullets were curving like that. Well, it looks like this dude just got shot maybe or something. I don't know. Yeah, that dude's dead. And we got two more. Great. Well, they killed two civilians, but I think we just killed two of them as well. Um, we could get another smart gun for our cutlass dude here. I feel like that's a bad idea. Well, yeah, let's draw them towards us. Why don't we have you shoot him and then run back here. And then Prince... Why don't you uh, fear and induce that guy? And then I'm going to actually have you... Can I just... Hold on, fear induce him. Can I, is there a way for me to look at their stats? Like, if I just click on him, can I see his attack range or whatever? No, I can't. Okay. I think... Let's do this, and then I'm just going to have you stand where you're standing. I think. And then Felicia... I think we're not going to run quite that far back. We'll, we'll run to like there. It seems to me that the game's given us a pretty easy battle right here. Yeah, that dude just got wrecked. Okay, he actually did a lot of damage there to our, our prince, dude. But we do have the cosmetic bag as well, so we do need to keep that in mind. If I cut him and then run away... Uh, and that will hurt him more, or, or I could, um, I could heal 20 points or I could do 20 points of damage. I think we want to take him out first, but then we'll run next to our, uh, our prince over here so we can heal him next time. Oh, and we can heal from a distance, so. That is something to also keep in mind. Okay, he got wrecked. <laughs> nice. Nice one with the cutlass there, Prince. Or should I say the NPC formerly known as Prince? I don't know what to name you now, though, if I, if I do that. <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't do that. Um, you can't shoot, so you might as well heal. And then I'm going to say get behind cover. Oop, actually, hold on. Wrong wrong person. Fear inducer? Did I maybe fear induce him so he can't run to us? Can I do that every turn? I feel like I can do that every turn. If that's true, that's incredibly overpowered because then I can just let these guys just tank, like... Do a ton of damage to him. That didn't even heal that much. Hey, uh, 
Is there a way for me to drop that? If I drop that here, does it just delete it or what? That's a little, a little too far. Yeah, I'm gonna be... Yes, I can. And then pick it up, dude. Nice. Okay, so the prince, he's hes now got a ranged weapon and so does Felicia. Unfortunately, this guy's just like a step out of our, our range. Well, let's go stand behind our expendables. Maybe because you have to have a clear shot, I'm going to do like that. That should be good. Those laser pistols seem to have better range, so it looks like it's it's doing just fine going like that. Cool. Alright, well. Oh, James. Very nice. So James has now joined up and we got our four characters. We got our healer and our melee and I see. We got a little group. Very nice. Okay, so we got four people, but we're not with the girl from the starting sequence. Okay, so we got like some concurrent stories going on here. Oh, we got some choices. Uh-oh. Well, we got... Uh... <laughs> nice, I like that. Uh, what's this? Cad Parsons. Okay, an engineer or the guards. I'm I, I would consider myself a man of the people, so we're gonna go with the engineer. Dude working in the in the gritty little bits of the ship. Lighting system, yeah right. Okay, so I get to do some stuff with doors. That's my ability. Okay. Oh! You should have known. Something's going on. Wait, so they got in the room? Okay. I think that's all I can do, right? Yeah. And I could run over. It seems to want me to run over here. Am I trying to escape and leave this dude behind? Oh, dude, never mind. Maybe I shouldn't be running away. Maybe I should. I think... Robo stations, oh, uh, robo spiders. Get, get the guards. Okay, so there's a call for help. Or, or I could release the robo spiders. I'm gonna release the robo spiders and run. Oh, robo spiders. So that's like my ability, but I've just found some. Dude. Very cool. Well, that guy's dead. Defense matrix. Okay, so that can... That's for me, right? Um, oh, this has very short range. It's very powerful, but very short range. So it's like my shotgun, essentially. I think we just need a run. I'm pretty sure the game is telling me to just run for it. Even though there, I see that there's some of them... That have been back here. Good job, spiders. Run with me. And uh, oh, look, there's there's another one right there. I had a feeling. Couple of rooms away. I mean, I kind of feel like I should kill him, but I feel like also my uh, my little robots are gonna do that work for me. Yeah, why don't we just run all the way? The robots should take care of it. Please. 
robots. Oh. Oh man, did he just destroy my robot? I think he did. That's not good. Okay, activate the cameras. Go run over here. Oh, so defenses and then hurts. Is that how it works? Or it wants me to go here first. Okay, well, I guess we gotta turn on the cameras and then turn on the turrets. So, basically telling me that everyone's gonna die. That's that's how I'm reading this. So, we'll go there and then we'll move over here, right? Pretty sure that's what they want me to do. Yep, I see you. I like you, Chad. You're gonna take out all these dudes. I can see it. No, dude, just vacuum space right there. Find a way to fight the superior monster force. Activate the defenses, obviously. That's the first move. And then I have no idea. I think we need to get to that. I need to run down and probably like, take out these fires or something. I don't know. I have no idea, dude. Good luck, Chad. I feel like this is like a long mission. Oh, are they going to shoot me? Please don't shoot me. Okay, good. They didn't actually shoot me. I was very concerned. So I need to open up that. It looks like, looks like I can't get to there, unfortunately. Not easily, at least. Is there a way around? I feel like there's a way around here, just because of how the map looks. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I think we have to go the way we came. And deal with them over that that way. I hope I'm not rushing it. I feel like this game is kind of designed to have you run out like this. My XCOM instincts are very upset with me doing this. Okay, let's just sprint all the way out there, I guess. I mean, I've got three of my spiders. Yeah, they'll start coming in. Adorable lock as well. Um, is it telling me to... Yeah, it's telling me to go there. I'm pretty sure... To go here. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. We'll open it. And we're gonna run back here because I'm a coward. Or maybe, maybe I want to be there to support the turret because the turret might kill a lot of them. Yeah, let's let's go. Uh, we'll stand like there. Yeah. This might lead to me getting overwhelmed by these these monsters. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, one of them's dead. I could lure them back over here. I'm pretty sure that these guys will kill them. I don't really have the range to find out, so I think I'm gonna lure them back in front of the turret, like over here. And if I run like there, they should be like getting shot, right? I think I want to go to like there. I'm, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what I want to do. No! My turret. You meanie. Are you gonna attack my other little spider dudes? I, I really did not plan that ahead very well. It's this right here. Oh, it's a med station? 
Oh, okay. No, I don't want to do that. I would like to shoot him, but I'm I'm afraid that that's not going to happen. Because our spiders are going to get hurt. What if I... I'm just going to run to, like, here. No. Yeah. I mismanaged things. There's, oh, there's dudes down there as well. So they're going to run into my turret, actually. So I think we're okay. He's going to get taken out, right? Yeah. So if I run over here, can I kite them to this turret? Uh, I think we might be able to pull off, but I'm also unsure. Like, do they see me? Like, how does, how does that work with this game? Can my little dude here, like, snipe them? I feel like we're about to be able to spawn more robot spiders anyways, as well. Uh... No. I'm just gonna wait here and see if they come to me. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. Oh, they're, like, right next to me. Uh... I run... We're gonna lose our little robot spider, but I think the turret should be able to take him out. Oh, um, never mind. Maybe not. <clears throat> hmm. That was bad. Can I run... Oh, can I, uh... Maybe we activate the robo spiders once they're in the room with us and they've been shot. Or does it only give me one of them? Well, now's the time to find out, right? Defend position. Oh, I can tell it to attack the monster. Interesting. Okay, um... I think I want to tell it to follow me, and then I want to come and run back here. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Yay, happy little robot spider. Good job. Yeah, they're gonna triple attack my little robot friend. Why, robot friend? No. You should be following me. Can I also spawn... Oh, I can spawn multiple of them? What? So I can just keep on spawning these guys? Dude. Chad, you have quite the superpower. Here. Yeah, if we just keep on spawning in robo spiders and we have this turret going, I think we might be okay. I'm gonna tell you to um, attack those monsters. And I'm just gonna stand here. Yeah, this is not not going exactly how I like it to. Oh my goodness. Uh, do I have a cutter? I do have the cutter here, so I could shoot you actually. So I could shoot, or I could deploy another robot. And deploying a robot is gonna give me some more time to run away. I think we should do that. We could also set up a defense matrix. Oh, actually that will um, block all damage for a turn. So I could run up with that on. And then it, when they attack me, my robots get all the attacks in. I could do that. And then run over here and they won't be able to hurt me. Is that how it works? Well, we're about to find out. If not, this is going to be the end of the episode. So. 
Okay. Well, I guess they didn't feel like attacking me. That's a shame. Uh... Well, I could kill two of you. And then I don't think the last one will be able to kill me. But I think also my turrets might shoot you. There we go. Nicely done. Now the question is, is does this game let me end mid-mission? Or like save progress or anything? No, it does not. Oh no. Well, I don't know how much further I have until the end of this mission, but it looks like it's gotta be kind of far. So, uh... I don't know what to do. I guess, uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. Hey, Orange One here. So, uh, we are continuing with the, uh, actually, hold on. We're, we're continuing with our, um, adventures with the engineer that we started last episode. I don't know if this is going to be its own episode or not, or if I'm just going to add it on. It's going to depend on how much longer this mission takes. I feel like we have, um, done a lot already in the mission and that it's gonna kind of fly by but i could be wrong okay healed up that's good because yeah, we actually really needed that that's perfect so i'm gonna be just deploying as many of those as i can and then we'll keep on moving forward because it seems to me like these guys are really how we deal damage there's also a smart pistol, which I'm going to pick up. That'll give us a little bit more range to work with. Give us some options. Uh, just run out here. I've got a feeling there's going to be some in the hallway there. No? Yes? Kind of? If I look, what's my range like on this thing? Not great. Oh, medical dart. Hold on. What? What was that? Heals at a distance. Oh, so these things have their own abilities. I see. That's really interesting. Well, I'm going to deploy another one of these. And now I'm going to start getting to a distance where we might be able to get some ranged attacks on them. Man, we got a little army going. Kind of awesome. Flash completely insane. Um, give me another one. We're gonna max out how many robo spiders we can have with us. It seems to me like a good strategy. Yeah, those dudes are like right there. I don't know. What is that? That looks like a big computer. Can I run to here? I'm pretty sure that our guys are going to shoot them. No? Overload the reactor. That seems... Um, a little bit dramatic there, Chad. Well, I mean, we do have plenty of these guys watching our back. It does seem like the game wants me to do it. Uh, can I shoot that dude? I can. Yeah, you think you're behind cover, huh? Not enough action points. Yeah, are these guys gonna attack that thing or what? There we go. He's down. And his friends, unfortunately, gotta get one of our little robots. I don't see why you all ran out like that, but whatever. Uh, can I hit him with the cutter? I can. Then I'm going to. And our robots should actually. I don't think we even want to run away from you, but... I'm gonna do it. Nice. Okay, so that one's down. Which means I can also deploy another robo-spider, but I don't know how we're going to, because we actually already have, have too many of them. I don't know where you're building these, like, what parts you're building them from, but whatever. 
Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea, Chad. This seems like a really good way to end this episode early. But YOLO, I guess. Radiation levels increased. What does that do? Does it like slow us down and slow them down? You need something to heal yourself? Oh, well, there's a first aid thing up there. Uh, are you going to be able to make it there in time? If I do the defense matrix, is that going to be enough? And that one's already been used. Um, I feel like we just killed Chad. Because I don't think there's any way I can get there in time. Oh wait, no, hold on. Chad's, uh, Chad's fine. It's just all my robo-spiders are not gonna be fine. Um, do I want to put more robo-spiders down? Or do I want to heal myself and make a run for it? I mean, that radiation's not going to be enough to kill them, is it? I feel like I want to go heal or run up and... That's not going to be enough, is it? No. Switch the robo-spiders. I think we want to put one down. No. No, we, we got to run up here and then use that next turn. It's being really annoying. I have the radiation kill them. But I think the radiation's gonna actually kill them next turn. Eventually. So if I do that... That should kill them, right? And then I run up here. I think that that should work. Oh! Never mind. Oh, we are healing though. Good job. Oh god. There's so many of them. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna die from the radiation next turn though. But they're all gonna hit me this turn. Can I do the defense matrix? Or are they gonna punch me still first? I think they're still gonna punch me first. Nope. Maybe not. Yeah, go ahead, do your worst. We're all gonna die from radiation, I believe. Well, it's a good thing that I did do the radiation then, huh? Okay, very cool. Um, well, I think that because it's that was just a little bit more than seven minutes, I'm gonna just tag that on to the end of the last episode, and we'll... Uh, We'll call that an episode done. Oh man. I'm liking this though. I'm enjoying it. I think it's got an interesting vibe. Enjoyed the engineer's story there. It looks like we're we're done though for this uh this part. Uh thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.